If you went, it's Emily Fox. Today so is going to be my July TBR slash my announcement for my monthly reading challenge. If you don't know, every month this year I'm attempting a different challenge, whether it's like a specific team for the month or in this case, a reading vlog, which actually, you know what? Let's start with it. For the month of July, my challenge will be Wee Wee, or actually Emily should be the one wearing it. So let's remove the mask. We're taking the risk. You can keep your bags, I guess. We're gonna look at her looking all French. For a reading vlog this month, I will be reading only French books slash French classics because if you've been following my channel for a little while, you know that, oof, like two years ago now, three? Let's not even look it up. Um, I started reading Le Comte de Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. I read part one, which was, it, it counted for my big book of the month because the book was like 700 pages. And my edition is two different books. So the second one has another 700 pages. And for some reason, I just never continued. This is part of my official pile of shame, which is another thing I want to do this year, trying to read more books from that pile, basically books that I never completed, even though I was enjoying them. And even though it's two parts, it still counts. So yes, uh, to my shame, but not really. But kind of. I I've never finished this book and a lot of you have been wondering <laughs> when I will actually finish it. I don't even know why I'm struggling to speak. I think it's just the embarrassment that I haven't been able to finish this book, this classic in forever, even though I was really enjoying it. To be fair, I do feel like it goes like in waves throughout the book, like how the pace basically, because these books were written like little chunks in like is it newspaper or something? So they were meant to be quite dragged on. Uh, I will be looking up some type of like summary online to just remind myself of what I have read already, even though I feel like it should be still somewhat okay just because once again, they tended to repeat some of the stuff that was important because again, this book was written in like a long period of time. So I'm very excited. I was enjoying, like I was saying, the first part quite a bit. Uh, the first like 400 pages, no, is it 200 pages are really, really interesting. Then it kind of slows down a bit and it picks up quite a bit more uh, towards the end. I really want to know how it's going to end because this is like known as like an epic revenge story. If you do read French and you're a little intimidated, don't be like the writing is very easy to read, even though it's very beautiful. Uh, the narrative is a little sassy at times, which is awesome. So here I am during a week, maybe I'll do a reading vlog trying to read this, but just for the sake of making it a little bit more interesting, there is a short story I want to also read that is in French, a French classic. So I don't know how long the reading vlog will last. Maybe I'll just do a reading vlog for a month, uh, a week. And then uh, if I don't finish it, I will still try and complete it before the end of the month. That way that could be a compromise. <laughs> That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, another one I really wanted to read, even though I have read it, but it was so long ago. It's uh, called Zid. I think it's it. What's it called? The whole name, Ou um by Voltaire, which I have read again. I don't even know how many years ago, and uh, this edition has like a bunch of other stories. So let me just double check. It has about a hundred and eight pages, so it's a pretty short story. I should easily be able to read this in a day or two. So I thought maybe you know a reading vlog with both of these included that could be interesting, could be fun, and it's French. So I haven't been reading a lot of French classics since really I've started this channel, but I do have a French minor, <laughs> a minor in French literature, and I have read like a lot of them. So it's been a while, but uh, yes, once in a while might not be a bad thing for me to practice my French because I feel like I'm getting rusty. So French, oui, oui. Emily will not read anything, but you know, she will be supportive and wear that behave. <laughs> now let's go through the books that I want to read this month super quickly because I did do a summer TBR in the beginning of June. So three of the books were in there, so I'm gonna mention them quickly, but those are the ones from that huge pile that I want to try to focus on this month. The first one is A Memory Called Empire, which I do have the audiobook almost ready from my library uh, waiting list basically as an audiobook. I do tend to go through my books as audiobooks this year, it seems like pretty much only. So I will see at whichever way I prefer because sometimes the audiobooks are not great or sometimes reading the physical copy just doesn't do it for me, especially right now with the slump, even though we've seen an improvement. It seems like we might be done with that. Uh, but yes, it's, I've been looking forward to reading that one because a lot of people gave it five stars, people that I tend to agree on with reviews. Uh, it's surprisingly pretty thick. It's over 400 pages, but it's like kind of short. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm very excited. It's also part of my 
Goodreads reading challenge-ish because it was part of the huge list of the uh, sci-fi section, which is like, I think the category that I was the most excited about the books. <laughs> that sentence was badly structured. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I'm not talking about it because shame on me, but yes, Children of Ruin this month, <laughs> she said for the 50th time. And then last but not least, I absolutely want to read that. And I actually waited until this month because I was waiting for the audiobook since I've read the first two uh, as audiobooks, even though I tended to go back and forth. I just want to finish it that way just because I don't really recommend reading them as audiobooks unless you can like solely focus on the audiobook because it's not something you can really get unless you're like, again, fully focused on it. So just excited to see how it's gonna end. I have my issues with the series. That one is also 400 pages, but for some reason it looks way scarier. Uh, but I just really, really need to see how it ends. Everyone has been telling me that the ending is great. So now some new stuff. Uh, the first one is the one I'm currently reading. You might've seen it in my, no, actually I haven't posted in my wrap up yet because I'm pre-filming this a little bit, but I know I'm not gonna have time to finish it before I do my wrap up and it is the Girl in the Star is by Mark Lawrence, which is the first book in this new companion series to the Ancestor uh, series, which is uh, the first book of The Ice. So I'm assuming The Ice is <laughs> the name of the series. Whew, having a rough day. I decided, it's not interesting, but I decided to try to cut down on caffeine because I don't sleep super well. So I decided today was the day that I was not having coffee. <laughs> It's not going well at all. Uh, but yes, I'm currently reading this. So far, I'm enjoying it. I feel like it's very readable. I love that universe. Uh, again, it's the same one as the, the Ancestor trilogy, the first book being uh, Red Sister, which I've raved about. It is actually part of, I did video, you know, talking about the best of the best books that I've read uh, since I started BookTube, and it was in there. It's such an amazing series. The world building is interesting. The magic system is great. The characters were great. So I'm just happy to be back in there. You're following one of the characters that is also part of that other series. And yes, you kind of get finally more of her background story. And I just want to know why is she the way she is? <laughs> but yes, so far it's great. So we'll definitely finish this this month. And another one that I'm hoping to get to as an audiobook, hopefully this month, is this one, which is Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb, which is the last book in the Farseer trilogy. I am so scared of that one because, dude, what the actual, what? <laughs> it's so chunky. Uh, it's 800 and something pages. You might be like, oh, but it's short. No, it's written a tiny. So there's a strong chance I will not finish it this month, but it doesn't matter. I'm just excited to give it a chance. And I don't think I actually had included that in my summer TBR. So here I am changing that. Now I have one or two audiobooks that I also want to include quickly that I don't own the physical copy of. Uh, for nonfiction, I have Why We Sleep, which I want to know. I feel like we don't know, right? So that's definitely an option. And there was another one, where is it? I also have Ask Again, yes, which I think is part of the Goodreads reading challenge. And I'm kind of about it because I've been pretty unlucky about those like contemporaries that are like, you know, on so many lists of, oh, new books you need to read. Actually, if you have any recommendations for like mystery thrillers to read right now, let me know because, oh, there you go. I think I might have an arc for uh, the latest book by, I am so bad with names. It's on here, Home Before Dark. Am I completely wrong? Uh, I think I have an arc, I need to double check, but I think I might have to read this this month because I have been in the mood, weirdly enough, to read some mystery thrillers. So this is the fourth book by the author. Maybe if I get around to it this month or next month, worst case scenario, I will vlog it just so I can let you know which one out of the four books by him, I prefer which one is like the best one kind of ranking them. Would that be interesting? I think so. So that's definitely on the list now. <laughs> Ooh, I wanted to ask you, uh, I have The Last Wish, which is the first book in the The Witcher, The Witcher series. Uh, I have it as an audiobook and I do have a physical copy. Should I read it? Because I feel like I've heard really mixed reviews. I know the first book is supposed to be like more like a few little stories like put together in a book type of thing, but I've been warned that like it's kind of sexist. So I'm not really in the mood to read more sexist books right now. So let me know and I will choose to put in my TBR or not. <laughs> so I think that's gonna be it for my July TBR, kind of short because obviously I've announced most of the books that I'm trying to get to uh, during my summer TBR, but I really wanted to announce, you know, the special little challenge for the month. Who wants to attempt it? You don't necessarily have to read them in French, but if you just wanna read some French classics, books that are written in French that are translated, feel free to uh, do it with me. But yes, I'm very excited to read more French classics. I feel like I haven't read any in forever and yes obviously we're gonna enjoy Emily wearing this 
silly hat <laughs> throughout the month of July. That's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe. I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I shall see you in my next video very soon. Bye.